Hi, this is Julie from New Horizons 123. We're a small business and video marketing company. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can get one of those really cool looking floating lead capture forms that looks just like this, and how you create them and how you make them show up over a website. And that's, that can be done over your own website. You can do it over someone else's website and give what we, it gives them what we call the wow effect. You can put it over YouTube. You can put it over any, almost almost any website, except some of the flash models don't accept this kind of a form. Anyway, what I do is I use um, the email marketing system and the lead capture pages from a company called Priceless Possibilities. So I'm going to show you very quickly, because it is very quick, how we're going to create something like this, and we're going to have it show up over. I don't know. Maybe I'll put it on my YouTube channel. We'll decide when we get there. So the first thing you want to do is you need to come in into Create Lead Capture Pages and click on Floating Capture Form. You want to create a new one. Now you have to know obviously what your marketing message is, what it is that you're trying to promote. And I think what I'm going to do is I want to promote this new awesome product that I just found called the Sales Page Engine. And what you were looking at when we first signed in here was a page, that's not it, sorry, that actually is it, that's the back office. Um, this is a page that I created using the sales page engine, and I just love this, this product. So I figured, well, why don't I do a tutorial on it? So let's go back to the admin area. We clicked on Capture Leads, Create Floating Lead Capture. We came over here. It says, do you want to use one that we already have, or do you want to design your own? I want to design my own. Now, I know what I'm going to promote. I'm going to be promoting this product here, which is the sales page generator. I created a video for it because that's what I do. I make videos. So I'm going to copy the title because when you make a lot of these things, you want to make sure that you title it. This is for internal purposes only so that you know what it is that you're going to be. Um, let me just make sure that that's right. So you know which floating lead capture form you're looking at. So there's the title. Down here, I get to decide what kind of questions do I want to ask on what's called a survey or the opt-in. Um, I like to add just the phone number and keep you can add a lot of things on here but the rule of thumb is the less questions you ask someone the more likely they are to give you their information but first name and email address are always mandatory and I just add phone number and make that mandatory now which autoresponder am I going to send out well I think I'm going to send out for right now I'm going to send out video marketing made easy where is that video marketing there we go and what I'll probably do later is come back and change it, and I'll send in an autoresponder that is actually relevant to what I'm promoting, which is the sales page engine. So then I come down here, and if you have an Add This um, account, you are able to put that in here. So, but even if you don't, the social share buttons will come up. And how often do I want this survey to display? Always. Do I want them to be required to fill it out? Um, I'm going to say no. Sometimes you can say yes. I'm going to say no because that annoys people. And here I have the idea, the option to change the size. I like to make it a little bit higher. So like in this case, you can see the opt-in information down here. So I'm going to make that about 550. Because if you don't see that opt-in information, people aren't going to really know what it is that they're looking at. So I'm going to save changes. And now here's where I get to come in and put my content in. So let's see. Let's go back to my description here of the video. And it's create sales pages and more. So I think I'm going to use, I think, I think what I'm actually going to say, because you can say anything you want, I'm going to say introducing the sales page generator. OK. And then down here. I'm going to say, OK, let's see what we're going to say. You want to keep it short, because if you notice over here, if you have a lot of content, a lot of uh, verbiage, it's going to push this form down, and it's too much. You don't want to take away from the effect that you're trying to create. So let's see. Let's take something else out of my description from my video. Um, how about stop wasting time? I like that one. Stop wasting time on money. On stop wasting your money on graphics packs and designers. So I'm just going to copy that. Come over here and put that here. 
Okay, it says stop wasting your money on graphic packs that still need a developer to turn into a website. My subheadline will be the next one, which is stop buying templates that require you to edit the CSS HTML. And then the last thing I'm going to put in, let's see, that goes down here. And I think there's an extra space in there. Yep, okay. And then the last thing for the body text, I'm going to take that last sentence, and I can change this at any time, and I probably will. I'm just doing this on the fly. So stop paying for expensive developers, because I might not like, the, what, like what it looks like. So I'm going to come down here, and under PS, that's going to show up underneath the survey, so that's okay. And I'm going to repeat what it is, which is create sales pages, squeeze pages, and more in minutes. That was the title, but I'm going to make that my PS. And I don't think I'm going to use a PPS for this one. So I'm going to take that out, and I'm going to hit Save Changes and move to the next step. And then I'm going to close the calculator that I always open by mistake. Close that. Okay, over here is where you get to either use one of the videos from the video library or your own. Well, since I already made a video, I'm going to use my own. And you just get the embed code. which is right here, and you copy that, and you put that right over here, and do you want it to play automatically? Yes, I do. There we go. And then you come down here, and now you say, okay, well, where do you want them to go after they fill out the form? What is it that you want them to look at? So for right now, since I don't have a sales page set up specifically for the sales page engine yet, what I'm going to do, actually, you know what? I just thought of something. I do have the link to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this link, copy link location, and here's where I want them to go, another website, and it's going to be where they can buy the product. Because doesn't that make sense? They're going to be watching a video about it, and then they're going to buy the product. So you save the changes and move to the next step. And here's where you get to look at the floating lead capture form that you just created. Okay, now what I'm probably going to do later on is go back in and make that a little bit less because as you see, the opt-in form does not show up. But let me show you how easy that is to edit. You just come right back here and click on edit. And then you go back into the edit content because that's what the content is what was showing up as too much. So I think I'm going to take this part and move this down. So I'll trial and error. Put that in here. And I'm going to take this and move that down here. And then I will have a PPS. And let's, we'll see how that looks. And if we don't like it, we'll go back and change it again. It's very, very easy to change. OK. And we just want to put space here, put this one here, and then I think I'm going to leave that, no, I'll put that down on the bottom, okay. And we'll just make those quick changes. And then there's one other really cool thing that I want to show you that you can do with this. Okay, we're going to just follow through just to make sure that code is in there. Yep, it is. Okay, now we're going to, we already know where we're sending them, so now we're going to go back and click on it and take a look at it. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, it's a little bit better. I'll probably still do a little playing around just so that what I would ideally, I'd like to be able to see that when they come to the screen. So I'm going to stop on this for now, and I want to go back and show you something else that you can do that's really, really cool. If you'll notice, this is sitting in midair. It's not sitting on any website. Well, that's kind of silly because you want it to show up on a website. What you do with that is you create what's called a simulator. So right here in this floating capture form that I just created, I can say, okay, I want that form now to appear someplace. And I think I'm going, where, I have to decide where I'm going to put it. So let me see. I think I'll put it on my YouTube channel. And what I'm going to call it is, um, just for simplicity purposes right now for myself, sales page engine. Enter the website address where you want the floating capture form to appear. I want it to show up on my YouTube channel. Type it right. Okay, wait a second. 
Okay, and then create a unique address. I'm going to call it SPE. And all I'm going to do now is just click it. And then I want to show you how cool that is. And here now, under this domain, is going to be the floating lead capture form that's sitting on top of my YouTube channel. Now, how cool is that? And actually, on the, interesting, on the YouTube channel, you can see that right there. Now, there's so many other things that you can do. If you remember, I had them set up, once they fill out this form, they were going to go to the sales page to purchase the product. But what I might do instead, and I probably will do, because the options are unbelievably e extensive to what you can do with the system, what I'll probably do is have them then go through into my YouTube channel. And, say, and have them, so once they fill out the form, then they'll actually be looking at the YouTube channel, and then I'll have an autoresponder set up when they fill out this form that will go out to them and tell them more and more about the sales page engine. So that's just, like, you know, you might have seen some people's websites that when you, you get on there, something pops up in your face and asks you to buy something or to sign in or opt in or just gives you information. This is one of the ways to do that. And I, the functionality within this system is unbelievable. It's, it's really cool and it's easy and it's fun and it's extremely inexpensive. So I'll pop a couple of links down below the video in case you're interested in investigating this or some free trials. And if not, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and we'll see you around the web. Bye-bye.